my father was a, a painter and a, a portrait artist and an art director for a corporate America, Ford Motor Company. And he exposed me to museums and galleries and in Michigan, Detroit area. And uh, we had a great library at the house and I just kind of was always interested in drawing and making things. And then I was in a museum show. I think that was really what tripped a, a, a switch in my mind uh, at about 12, 13 years old. And it was a traveling Van Gogh show, actually. And um, one of those blockbuster shows that drew, you know, thousands of people. And at that age, I, I couldn't, I didn't know anything about Van Gogh or actually that kind of freeform painting. And I thought, is this an adult gets to do this? And all these people are like, you know, sanctifying it and holding it up. And I thought, oh, I want to do that. It sounds like more fun than, you know, white, uh, white collar work and the rat race. Uh, that I was seeing all the fathers in our neighborhoods do on a daily basis, and I just kind of uh, fell in love with it. I'm Mark Blaney, and we're in the woods, the Yellowwood Forest, on about five acre plot that Julie James and I own, and operate a small micro farm here. I think trying to draw from something and closely observing it, and then having kind of a motor skill reaction to it by using a pencil or a, a paintbrush um, helps me to concentrate for longer periods of time at what I'm looking at. So I can see a, you know, a, a landscape or a group of trees and passing light and I can let myself pause and try to take it in and then create symbols about that period of time that end up being a painting or a drawing. It's, it's kind of difficult to describe, except that it's kind of a calligraphy, you know, about what you're seeing. So well, it, it taught me to slow down and enjoy nature more. So I can work in the studio for a couple hours more and then walk outside in it enlivens what I see and helps me appreciate moments in nature. So I started drawing outside, going for long walks, coming back with pieces of art, or early pieces of art. And just one thing built to another, you know, I had to learn to add color to drawings and then sitting inside and finishing pieces. And it just kind of, I stayed with it. And I always have been painting from nature. In, uh, I would begin these large paintings, I would begin them, begin them with drawings that I've seen or thought of by having seen something in nature that was particularly beautiful to me. And I just wanted to hold that idea for a while, so gradually created a storage problem for myself. Mm, I really like space and quiet um, between encounters with folks. And we've got it here. And long walks in the woods are always inspiring, you know. Whether I'm making art or not, we, on a daily basis we're out walking. Walk the dogs, in the garden. Um, I just want to be able to go from one to the other and enjoy both. Uh, making art, making garden. So I'm just going to sort of do it my way. Uh, I've tr 
tried a lot of methods and I feel like I've got a kind of a, a language or a, a method that I rely on and I can appreciate other people's arts you know because I try at mine I can appreciate someone else's that's you know more masterful at theirs in music or theater or in you know the visual communications I mean there's arts become a real I don't know catch-all phrase and I'm you know there's so many artists. I mean, my, my partner is an artist in her teaching and her approach to life, you know. It's very artful. Uh, oh, enough of my attention is spent worrying about things or, or, you know, or feeling like I haven't got enough done for somebody else during the day to where, you know, it's a dilemma. And maybe I should, you know, just divvy out food for the poor. I mean, we all have that, those choices to make. But um, I feel like making some beautiful objects, or what I consider interesting and beautiful objects, is sort of my citizen action. It's my station as a citizen. My best days or my best moments are when my mind is absolutely free and kind of a stream of consciousness and yet I'm still drawing, and something sparks my interest that I think, even though it might be in a little page, lying in bed before I fall asleep, I go, now that could be a large painting, or I'd like to see that as being a large painting, you know? And so I say, you know, just uh, document, keep a journal. Keep a journal of your ideas and save them.